Hey guys, it's BNL, welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we headed through Mount Moon, and we ended up at Cerulean City. And in this part, we're at Cerulean City. Let's talk to you. That bush in front of the shop is in the way. There might be a way around. Okay. So anyway, so Cerulean City. It's a place where there's things. He likes trading. If you're a collector, would you please trade with him? Okay, well, I am a collector, I guess. Hey, good deal. No, it's not. Um, I may as well talk about this. Uh, Jinx... Uh... Jinx is an Ice Psychic type Pokemon. It's, you know, Jinx is pretty good. I, it's awkward saying he with Jinx, isn't it? Like, uh, Jinx does have some pretty good speed and special stats, and because he's Psychic type, he knows some great moves in this game. However, I think one of his biggest downfalls is that his defense is very low, and the problem is his special stat doesn't really help him with that. Um... Also, Jinx doesn't ever evolve, and by the end of the game, there are better Psychic types uh, to have. Ice types, uh, it's a little bit questionable, but you would prefer having a single type to deal with, and Ice Psychic, it's a little bit vulnerable. Sonic Boom! <laughs> Looks the same as everything. Anyway, let's check the Pokemon, because I have no items. I also have a very low amount of money. When you think, okay, well, there's not that much we can buy. We can buy repels. Repels are sometimes useful. Uh, they basically just like hoard off enemies uh, that are weaker than you for 200 steps. Also, if you see, check here, grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop, which is weird because they they don't really help at all. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Okay, what about? Uh, come on. <laughs> I didn't step outside, no. A plain city bike is good enough for me. You can't put a shopping basket on an MP... M what? I'm sorry, 90s. The, the, the present called. Welcome to our bike shop. Have we got a bike for you? <laughs> one million dollars. This bike is one million dollars. Even if you can afford it, the game will not let you buy it. And by the way, don't even buy... Oh, wrong screen. Don't even bother trying, because you can only fit six digits on this thing, which means that the, the maximum amount of money that you can hold is less than a million. It, it's one Pokebuck less, and the problem with that is and then you can't buy the bike. So, you'll basically know we can't buy the bike just now. Uh, however, there are a few things that we can do in Cerulean. First of all, there's the Poke Center. I don't think I, don't think I went in here. It's basically, you know, it's just a Poke Center. But anyway, I think Cerulean City is probably one of the biggest turning points of the game. Um, I wouldn't exactly say turning point, but... Uh, wait, wait, hold on for a second. Uh, okay, I think I was all set. I was, I was worried I was recording my mic a little bit too high, but... So there's this Bill guy. Also, the angle here. He has lots of Pokemon, and he collects the rare ones. What about you? That Bill, I heard that uh, will do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Okay, sure. So anyway, on our team, we currently have a level 13, a level 19, a level 5, and a level 16. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're stuffed for the gym. The problem is, the gym is kind of high-leveled. Uh, the gym leader, Misty, has level has a level 21 Pokemon. That is kind of high. Granted, granted, we've got uh, Ivysaur. He's going to he can use Vine Whip, and that's super effective against the gym, which is Water type, as you can tell by the blue. Ah, you see what we did there? The color of the city is the same as the type. Um, that's actually a very nice touch, and I do like. I do like that. Um, granted, you can't do it in any other game because it's from full color. Also, here's a nice little guy. This guy will actually tell you what each badge actually lets you do. So, for example, we'll ask him about the Cascade badge because that's the next badge. Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. That basically means that if you level your... I don't think it counts with your own Pokemon, but if you trade in a Pokemon from someone else that's stronger than level 30, 
uh, that Pokemon will have like half chance of not responding to your actions. Like he'll either use a different attack, he'll either just sit there, or he'll have a chance of actually doing what it is. Uh, also, this lets you use Cut outside of battle. Um, so yeah, that's basically so you can't trade in Pokemon that are extremely powerful. Anyway. There's a rare candy right there. Um, I will use these rare candies in some situations. I don't have a specific use for them now. I also gotta check my bag to see if I'm not full filling up. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, 13. Okay, you get 20 slots with your bag, and the problem is key items such as the Helix Fossil, um, HMs, you can't toss them out in the midst of anything, so you have to put them in a box, and that's that's a bit of a problem. Um, uh, so it was kind of sold in Diamond and Pearl, because they basically gave you infinite storage, but in uh, Gold and Silver and onwards, they had separate slots for your balls and stuff, and you can have infinite balls and things. Well, I mean, granted that you can afford them, but yeah. Um, anyway, who have I got out front? Because I'm a little bit worried. I've got Birdo out front. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be very bad for me, actually. Uh, I also, by the way, you cannot get a Poliwag by this point in the game. We haven't even seen a Poliwag in this point in the game, let alone a Poliwhirl. So you can't get Jinx right now. Um, however, I will say the Jinx trade isn't really worth it, because by the time you do get Poliwag, there are so many other psychic types you can get. Um, but we're a little bit uh, stuffed in terms of like what we can get, because the only other Pokemon that you can get are the ones on Route 4. And granted, you've got some such as Sandshrew, which... I mean, granted, that's a blue exclusive. Um, I mean, the other thing I was thinking is that maybe I'd grind up a bit, but... I don't... Oh, gosh, this is this is going to be tricky, because... Um, basically, what I'm going to say is that as soon as you go north, you encounter a battle. Um, you know what, actually? I will... I will switch Bugaboom out front, and then we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's do this. Hey, it's Blue in the Blue City. He's blue, da ba dee da ba da. He's doing great. He caught a bunch of strong and smart po- Oh, they're smart as well. Dude, we're stuffed. Uh, so anyway, so here's Blue yet again. This was why I was a little bit worried about coming here, because I just realized that He's got some pretty strong Pokemon. First of all, he's got a Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is the evolution of Pidgey. Uh, again, I wouldn't really recommend Pidgey. I'm gonna try and use my Sun Spore straight up. Ah, wait, what? No. Okay, anyway, this Pidgeotto has Gust Sand Attack and Quick Attack. Uh, which means that, thankfully, they're all normal type. Um, I think Sand Attack is actually- Oh, jeez! I can't, I can't... Okay, well, I'm stuffed. Uh, switch to Bubba. Because I'm a little bit afraid Birdo is a bit too underleveled for this. Or at least for Pidgeotto, at least. Pidgeotto is level 18, which is... Oh, come stop using Sand Attack! Jeez! Uh, Leech Seed. Leech Seed. Oh, come on, Critical Hit. There you go, Leech Seed. I feel like Leech Seed isn't going to be as good as I want it to be. Like, I could have probably saved more health just by tackling him in any anyway. Oh, it's, it is healing 3 HP. It is kind of worth it. And it's great, because I don't think Leech Seed goes away unless you switch out, which is pretty good. Um, I also don't know if Leech Seed is based off of your special stat, or whether it's just base power or anything. Um, text on the side will correct me for this. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I, d I don't really recommend... Pidgey a lot, because Sparrow is a much better Pokemon, and it's not really that rare. There is a very high chance of getting it in the pre in the route right behind Cerulean City, so don't worry. Oh, gosh. This is gonna get... This is going to get tricky, let me tell you that. Um, mainly because I want to preserve my health, because I've basically used it on the Pidgeotto. <laughs> Thankfully, the Pidgeotto is one of the stronger Pokemon that he has. I don't know. Anyway, we got a lot of experience. Now he's going to switch to Abra. Abra is a Psychic-type Pokemon. Abra... 
the, actually, it's a bit of a joke. It's a bit of a joke, and I would like to send out Dragon Man just for now, but I'm going to send out Birdo mainly because... I want you to see how much of a joke this is, okay? So he's level 15, okay? I'm going to peck him. That's its attack. Teleport. Teleport allows you to flee from battle instantly, granted if it works. Uh, this is regardless of your speed stat. Problem is, it doesn't work in battles. And this is the only move this Abra knows. In fact, whenever you catch an Abra in the wild, that's the only move it does know. It, he's kind of like a magic up, actually. The, the difference is, is that Abra, um, he's got, his speed is extremely high, and his special stat is extremely high, and because he's psychic type, he learns so many great moves. Uh, the only, I have a few issues, his, the rest of his stats are a little bit low, but his, you know, his special and speed, they're so high. Uh, did it say Radata? Ooh, I'm actually gonna keep out Birdo for, for the now. Um, we're gonna pack this. Um... But yeah, the other problem with Abra is that in order to fully evolve, uh, he needs to trade, and that's why I'm not using an Abra. If you can trade, do it. Seriously, Alakazam, his max, uh, his highest evolution. Wow, jeez, Birdo, you are kicking butt. This is what I'm a little bit afraid about. He has Charmander. Now, Charmander is level 17 right now. By the way, the Rattata has knows Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Hyper Fang. Watch out for Hyper Fang, but generally, you know, it's still Rattata, it's pretty weak. Um, I'm actually gonna stick out, and then I'm gonna switch out to, uh, to Bugaboom. Uh, this Charmander knows Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Leer. Ember is a Fire-type attack, so you can't get away from the fact that he's going to be super effective against your starter. Um, if you chose Charmander, he will have a Squirtle that knows Tackle, Tail Whip, Bubble, and Water Gun. Water Gun is a stronger Water-type attack than Bubble, so be warned about that. And if you chose Squirtle, then his Bulbasaur, I, which is kind of weird, because all of these guys should have evolved by now, uh, his Bulbasaur would know Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip, aka what my Bulbasaur knows, or what my Ivysaur knows, because he's not evolved. What the heck, Birdo? <laughs> Birdo, you are so strong! How are you doing this? How are you doing this? He is using Leah so much that he's not actually trying. Wow! Wow! A level 13 Sparrow took out three Pokemon on his team. And I was worried about this fight. What the? Hey, guess what? He went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex, which is weird because it doesn't really work that way. Oh, gosh. Bill's a famous Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, not Mac. Bill is actually a reference to Bill Gates, by the way. Uh, and because he's a computer genius, yeah, that's kind of why. Uh, I'd recommend you heal up, because what's stopping you, seriously? Um, jeez. <laughs> I was so worried. Uh, okay, so, now, again with the crazy route numbering, the route north of us is route 24. I know, we, we were just on like route 4 like a second ago. The people here were robbed, it's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. And you can't go up that way. It's a bit of an odd bridge. There's a cliff on one side of the bridge. Whoa, sudden color change, eh? Okay, you ready for the most annoying thing ever? This is Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think what you got it takes? Maybe. Uh, so anyway, Route 24, by the way, is just the upward route. I, th I think I'll try clearing Route 24 right, uh, this part, but... Other than that... Uh... Seriously? It's a level 14 canopy! How is it not evolved? How has it not evolved? Seriously. Seriously, these people should know. And this is the Weedle, yeah. Great. Uh, I don't want to keep Bugaboom around forever because I don't want Bugaboom around forever. However, Bugaboom... <laughs> that was the best explanation. B Bugaboom is so strong though, seriously. Oh, he's trying to learn Sleep Powder. 
Yes! Bugaboom with all of this stuff will be excellent for taking out, uh, for actually trying to catch Pokemon, which is why I'm kind of keeping Bugaboom. I want to, I want to kind of raise Bugaboom a bit on the side, uh, but I don't want to completely max him out. Uh, I'm going to switch to Birdo. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think Bubba is pretty, pretty high level. Uh, I, I would like a little bit higher level but on the way, but yeah. Um, I'm second now, it's serious. So yeah. Uh, on Route 24, by the way, there's not really... Like, there's a couple items you can get at the very north part of the route. But generally, it's a pretty easy route. The highest Pokemon that you'll... The strongest Pokemon you'll find is a level 18, which is found in the fourth trainer. Um, so anyway, yeah, so... Bird versus Bird. Flying's normal against flying, by the way. Don't be afraid about that. Um, so yeah. By the way, I, I looked up a couple of things. I was watching, um... Teal... I was watching this dude do a, uh, a uh, four-player race between all five uh, Pokemon games, and his name is Teal Game Master. And I wanted to, um, as I was looking at that, they were talking about like how broken things were. Also, Fury Attack. Fury Attack, by the way, I just want to say this. Uh, attacks uh, does two to five attacks in a row. Uh, it's normal type, I may as well demonstrate it. That's great. Uh, it does two to five attacks in a row. Uh, each attack is calculated, but it's very weak. Uh, however, you know you can you can do five attacks in a row. Uh, you may be wondering what's the point of that. Well, if you get an attack up stat, which is a bit of a shame because I've got an attack down and a defense down for your opponent. If you have an attack up or a defense down, actually, a defense down would be great. Basically, you can you can amplify your. Uh, uh, your stat changes with these attacks, and they're very, they're very nice if you can figure out how to use them very well. Stop using Growl, jeez. Oh gosh. Um. So anyway, yeah. So I was watching these people do like a four-player race through uh, five generations of Pokemon games, which I think is an interesting concept. It's gonna take them a while though. Uh. But but um. So they played through the first generation of Pokemon, and they were saying like how broken some of the systems were. And I would kind of agree with them. I think the worst part is that we have comparison. We have so many new Pokemon games with X and Y coming out next week even. Here's number three, I won't be so even. We've got the we've got the sixth generation of Pokemon coming out next next week, which which uh, by the sounds of it, it actually is going to change so much of the formula. Uh, which was pretty much ground grounded with gold and silver. Like so many of the formulas in this game don't work. Um don't worry about this guy, this guy's gonna be easy. Look at that. Oh, but Hyper Fang. Ah, oh, dang it. Hyper Fang, man, don't mess with it. Uh, I'm keeping Dragon Man on the side, by the way. Uh, you are confused. So yeah. Yeah, like a lot of the groundwork for every single Pokemon game afterwards was set by Gold and Silver, and I think one of the biggest problems with this was just because uh, the Game Boy couldn't really include that much data on it. Um, oh, really? That didn't kill the Ekans? Oh, but he's confused. Ah, oh, dang it! It's Wrath of the Rap. Look at this. Except he's confused. Wait, he's confused. Why isn't he gonna hit himself? Dude, this is gonna be so bad if he never hits himself. Dude. And you know, it's, I think it's a 20% chance... Oh, I, I, I got free anyway. I think it's a 20% chance that you hit yourself when you're confused, but... Uh, I'm actually going to switch the Bubba for this. I know he's poison type, and I know he's flying type, and they're both strong against grass. But seriously, he doesn't know any... He knows, like, uh, Leech Seed, and that's about it. Uh, and I can just use Tackle. Oh, that's going to be a tricky one. Come on, Leech Seed, do your magic. And of course, the first three times he's confused, do he doesn't hit himself. First time I'm confused, I hit myself. Also, the second time. Wow, don't you love fairness? So yeah. Uh, but anyway, I was looking up like a few of the formulas. For example, in some cases, because of a glitch. Uh, well, I don't think it's because of a glitch, but just. But just like how the formula works. 
Um, sometimes Ultra Balls, which we haven't found yet, we've only found Poke Balls. You'll find Great Balls, which and Ultra Balls, which uh, which increase your capture rate. However, there is the chance. Like, if you weaken a Pokemon and do status conditions, that, uh, when you, when you poison, when you deal a status ailment, a Great Ball is more effective at that moment than an Ultra Ball, which is weird, because why would it? An Ultra Ball is cost more, and it doesn't tell you anything about it, so you'd assume the one that costs more is more effective. Weird glitches like that. Also, here's a very nice thing. In this game, when you use a... When you use a, um, a, oh gosh, when you use an attack, your critical chance is based on your base speed, so your set speed, depending on your Pokemon, divided by, uh, 512. If it's a move like Slash, uh, which, uh, increases the critical chance of that attack, it's only divided by 64. And the, like, over half of the Pokemon in this game have a base stat of over 64. Uh, I'm number 4, getting tired? Well, I just healed, so no. Uh, by the way, this person has a new Pokemon, so yeah. So anyway, basically what that means is that with some Pokemon, you can basically get critical hits every time. Uh, oh, this isn't the person. Oh, sorry, it's number 5 on the road. It's Bird v Bird! I think... I'll try a Fury attack and see if I get more than two. Uh, unfortunately, critical hits only work for one of the attacks. These all count as separate attacks. However, I believe it does. It has 18 power, and when you compare it uh, for each attack, by the way, which means a minimum of 36 and a high of 90, and a high of 90 is actually extremely good for now, for for this very moment. Considering a lot of attacks don't even go any higher than 60. I think Confusion 60. Nidoran female does have a bit of a defense, though. See, I'm okay with three attacks. I'm just a little bit in about two. Go, Birdo! Use your horns! So, yeah. Fury attack is a bit nerfed in every other game, mainly because everything else is just improving. And there's so many better attacks after Fury attack. Also, if you get growled, Fury attack is the worst thing you can use. Uh, I'm gonna switch out Birdo after this, I'll tell you that. Or I'll, br I'll bring him out front, because I, I would like him to evolve, but... He's still five levels away. I lost two! Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll switch the bubble a bit after. This guy, right here! This man! He's number five, he'll stomp you. Which is weird, because... They talk about how... There's five trainers on Nugget Bridge, and then it's just like, nope. So anyway, he has a Mankey! That's a new Pokemon. Mankey's actually a pretty good Pokemon, I'll say that. He's, his attack's pretty high, and he does get a lot of fighting-type moves, which is his type. Um, oh, I just realized. Oh. Well, you could have said that. So yeah, this guy is level 18, though, so he's kind of high-leveled. I, I, I would actually want to evolve. No, not evolve, but level up Bubba at some stage. Vine Whip! <laughs> so yeah. Uh, biggest problem about Mankey though, he's a uh, red exclusive. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, we got Sandshrew while you got Ekans. That, th this is probably the counteract it. And, right, likely so. Whoa, too much! Dragon Man's not out front, right? Oh, it's Bugaboom. Yeah, I'm okay with Bugaboom. I want to get Bugaboom maybe to 20 max. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize, which is a nugget. What a nugget is, is basically... What? What? <laughs> what is it, the Godfather? I'm alright, I'm alright. Oddly, this guy is a Team Rocket guy. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, you can tell from his Pokemon list, he's got an Ekans and a Zubat, both of which are a little bit stronger. Actually, the Lass, number four Lass, was actually probably stronger, because both the Pokemon were level 16, and she had a Nidoran female. Seriously. Ekans and Zubat are very weak. 
Which is why they chuck so many at you, because their low levelness means that they can put, or their, their weakness basically means that uh, you can throw so many of them in a row. Like seriously, look at that. Look at that, I took them both down with a Pokemon that was only two levels higher. And I didn't even level up because of that. Arg, you are good. With your ability, you could help become a top leader in Team Rocket. Uh, so anyway, you can go down here, however, there's not really anything you can do down there. Uh, the other thing is that if you head up here, you'll find yourself TM-45, which is Thunder Wave. It's an electric type attack that paralyzes your enemies. Anyway, with that, I'm going to end the part off here. I'll see you kids next time when we'll proceed over... We'll proceed over. We'll head over to Bill's house. And we may even have time to fight the gym leader. I don't know, though. There's actually a lot of trainers over there. Um, I probably don't think so, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll see you kids there. Do, 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 do,